one more, the final lap for the last time. This brutal climb in front of them. Yep, this will be fascinating as they turn right and the wall extends in front of them. The whoop section, here they go. Do we see an attack of one of these two? What can, can Lecomte bring them back into range here as well? An expert climber who's been absolutely superb all day, but it's Pauline ferrand Bravo who leads them up this section for the last time. Say Nova Mesto and Amoravid, any race fan, this is the section they think of, this torturous, is torturous this an attack? climb. This is an attack of Pauline ferrand Bravo. it looks like that a little bit. Pushing hard, but Peter says close to her. Loana Lecomte. There's Evie Richards as well yeah. in your shot now. She's capping Alessandra Keller. Evie Richards, only 24 seconds on the fourth place. What a race we have been treated to. 186 beats per minute for Puck Peters of this one. Lecomte, a classic climber. She has had a hard day at the office today chasing these two down, but still they're inseparable. This is the fourth place, Evie Richards. Evie Richards has left Alessandra Keller behind her on this climb. But there's still a big fight for that uh, last spot on the podium, the, the fifth place. Keller is still on fifth, but we have Anna Terpstra, we have Sina Fry, Rebecca Henderson. Puck Peters all over that rear wheel of Pauline Ferrand Bravo like a cheap suit. Pushing hard, Puck Peters. Can Pauline summon up one last attack? Ineos Grenadiers against Alpecin de Koenig. We could be watching one of the classics. <laughs> yeah, there's <laughs> yeah, like uh, Pitcock against Mathieu van der Poel. Uh, yeah. Be looking to uh, one of the classics. The one the comp. And now, can you collect it nine seconds back now? Martina Perta rounds out your top ten behind Rebecca Henderson, the national champion of Australia. But out front, it is all business, and it is all down to Pauline Ferrand Bravo versus Puck Peters. One of the most experienced riders against one of the youngest. Yep, a relatively unknown quantity. Puck Peters came here. Fine. And has upset the apple cart. Can, can she upset Pauline for Ampravo by taking a win today? But, but Luana de Comte, she's so close, only five seconds. Oh. It looks like she is going back to the lead of the race. Five seconds now separates Lacombe from the front of the race. And here was Evie Richards already. It looks like that. Oh, only six, Pauline, 16 seconds. Pauline, long neck over the shoulder. Did you see Puck Peters just pull over the left slightly there? Out of vision. Evie Richards only 16 seconds off. Yeah, first place. what a ride from Evie Richards. What tenacity. Here's Luana Lecomte. Here is Luana Lecomte. Could Lecomte mug them both part? Puck Peters. Just letting Pauline Ferrand Bravo see her front wheel there. Wow. Oh, look Prince. at them. Winding it up into this tech zone. Mechanics roaring them on, crowd roaring ruin them on. Yeah. Whoa. Whoa. Pauline, Pauline nearly rides into her own tech zone. Over shoulder and then she moved to the right. She's still there, Pauline. I've got news for you. She's still there. Yeah, but she was looking back over her shoulder, I think, to Luana Lecomte. She's not waiting for her at all. Nope. Lecomte still five seconds back now. Yes, These now two. Peters who tried to overtake. Puck Peters moves to the front of this race and attacks Pauline for Ampravo. Puck Peters to the front now. Is yes. this it? The gap is there. There's a little bit of a gap. Puck Peters digs deep. Pauline for Ampravo. Is she in trouble or is she just marshalling things out That's before they head back to the Viso China Arena the for the last time? Look at her power. Loana Lecomte out of the saddle now, digging deep. Puck Peters. A little bit of a gap. Puck Peters fancied being in the front of this descent. Down through the steps for the last time. Pauline Ferrand Bravo, she's coming back here in this descent. Legs screaming, arms screaming, back screaming, everything in pain, but a win at the opening UCI Mountain Bike Cross Country Olympic World Cup of the Year is on the table. And if that's on the table, you've got to pick it up.
Luana Lecomte looks up. This is the last hard climb of this uh, course. And here we see this is now the top of this, is that fast descent down into the woods. And all these riders, they have to use a small gear over here. You can't make it with a big gear. Pauline has been pushing so hard with that big gear all the time. At least she's still pushing a bigger gear, a much bigger gear than Big Peter Sedet. Oh, but look at the gear Pauline for Ambravo is pushing up here. Look at the cadence. This hurts so much in your legs. And there's still a little bit of a gap. Big Peter Sedet, small gear. Avoiding all these roots. Outside lines for her. And the gap is there, the gap is there. The gap is there, isn't this it? This is an attack. It's still... Big Peter Sue's leading. But Peter's about to swing Over right under the descent. And this is where you need to be at your technical best. Hammer this descent by yourself. Two more bike lengths at the bottom of it. This is the decision. This is it. Bart reckons this is it. Pauline Ferran Bravo, she had this one by the scruff of the neck for so long, but Puck Peters has just absolutely mugged her up that climb. And now in the descent, into the ACDC section, Peters not looking back. There's not that much time left for Pauline Ferran Bravo to close that gap to Puck Petersen. The last time here on, in this descent. Peters likes that line out yeah, to the rider's right left, it. makes it work for her. Look at her heart rate, still so high even in the descent. Oh, that's incredible, isn't it? You can rev that high for that long. At least the pressure is off her missiles. It's... Pauline ferran Prevo. She'll be able to hear the stadium now. In her ears, you can see the grandstands to the right-hand side emptying out as people head down towards the finish line to see what has been the tr an absolute treat of a Nova Mesto Namoravi elite women's race. The rock and roll for the last time. Six seconds. For so long, Puck Peters couldn't get within five or six seconds of Pauline for Anne Bravo, and now, and now well. she's winching it on. Now Puck Peters grits her teeth and heads down to the Visocina Arena for the last time. And look back over her shoulder. She's not there. Almost. She can't see her. Down through these jumps for the last time. It's just these jumps and two turns that stand between Puck Peters and victory. Down into the right-hander. Puck what a Peters performance. Swings in the canyon for Alphys and the Koenig. Sprinting. Sprinting, everything burning, head going. She knows Pauline for Ambravo can sprint, but she can't sprint from that far back for Ambravo. Head down, draped over the bar. She knows it hasn't been enough today. Puck Peters swings left for the last time and heads into the Visocina Arena. Puck Peters is about to take her debut UCI mountain bike cross country Olympic elite level World Cup victory. The Dutch woman takes the line and takes the win. Pauline Ferran Bravo is left to watch behind her after what was an absolute tussle of the muscle for the entire way round there. Bart Brenchens is celebrating a Dutch win beside me. Oh, amazing, amazing. Luana Richards. in oh. third, Evie Richards, what a performance. You talk about showing character today, Evie Richards in fourth place after that mechanical.